The music community in Atlanta and beyond now mourning the sudden loss of a jam band legend. Colonel Bruce Hampton died on stage last night at the Fox Theater after a four hour long concert celebrating his 70th birthday. Matt Pearl talked today with those who knew Colonel uh, Hampton and, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I, I have to tell you, he is as much a part of Atlanta as anybody I can think of over the decades. I mean, this is one of those figures so indigenous to this area. His guest book has thousands of people. Yeah. I mean, Matt, everybody has a story about him. Mm. This was someone who was respected by his peers, adored by his fans. Colonel Bruce Hampton, the type of musician who could summon fans and fellow musicians from around the country to come to his home city of Atlanta last night for what would be his final show. An iconic building in Atlanta became Monday night the site of tragedy and Tuesday morning the site of tribute. It was just so much fun all the time. I always just kind of boogie a little bit harder when he's around. Fans of jam band legend Bruce Hampton knew him as Colonel Bruce. He started playing in Atlanta a half century ago, collaborated with numerous bands and projects, and influenced nearly every guitarist in his orbit. I mean, his spirit is never, ever going to leave this room. Six months back, Hampton reached out to a less iconic space, the newly formed Vista Room in Oak Grove. He asked if he could play every Thursday night. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. He just said, wow, I finally found the place that feels like home. In the jam band culture, the concert never ends early, and it runs on community. It's about coming into a place and forgetting about the outside world. Mm -hmm. You come in, you get lost in music, the fan meets the band. I mean, last night was just incredible. The night marked Colonel Bruce's 70th birthday. It brought musicians galore to the Fox for a four-hour tribute. We will not show how it ended, with Hampton collapsing on stage, confirmed dead later that night. But it's really sad, you know. Um, yeah. We will tell you, those who loved this icon have tried to take solace in the company he kept in that final show. Surrounded by people you love, doing exactly what you love. It was very moving, and uh, what a way to go. I'm told Hampton most recently lived in Stone Mountain. Proceeds from Monday's show benefited the Fox Theater Institute and various musician-based charities. Well, there, there are so many people, Matt, that are sharing their fond memories of Colonel Bruce Hampton on social media. If you have something that you would like to share, you can join in on the conversation on the 11 Alive Facebook page. But uh, what a life he led around here. He, he touched so many people. That, that was sold out last night at the Fox Theater. And if you've seen the concert at all on YouTube, it was rocking. We were showing it live last night on our Facebook page. I, I found myself last night uh, around 9 o'clock watching it. It, it, was, it was amazing. It, it really was. And, and it's such a tragedy to lose him in, yeah. in, in that way last night. And, Extraordinary. And, but, you know, he, and he died doing what he loved, too, right? Yeah, like absolutely. so suddenly. Yeah, absolutely. Just Matt, shocking. Matt, excellent job. Thank you so much. We are going to turn to our weather right now.